Hi guys, let's get into halogen derivatives. The fourth reaction that we are going to check in form of synthesis of halides, it's halogen exchange and the name is Finkelstein reaction. Now in case of Finkelstein's reaction, what we do is we take alkyl chloride or alkyl bromide and treat it with sodium iodide in presence of acetone or methanol as solvent. All right, we end up with alkyl iodide. So in Finkelstein reaction, we are synthesizing alkyl iodide and sodium chloride or bromide precipitates out and can be easily removed by filtration. All right, so this is what is Finkelstein, simple reaction. Okay, now Swartz. In Swartz, what we do is we synthesize alkyl fluoride, Finkelstein, alkyl iodide and in case of Swartz, we have alkyl fluoride. So what do we do? Alkyl chloride, alkyl bromide treated with metal fluoride. Metal could be silver, mercury, SB, AS, arsenic, stibnum, etc. Okay, so this is treated with fluoride. What we end up with is alkyl fluoride. So we end up with alkyl fluoride and whatever metal you have taken, it's chluoride or bromide is precip it's it's whatever whatever metal you take over here it's chloride or bromide are precipitated out which could be filtered and removed all right so what we learned is finkelstein alkyl iodide swartz alkyl fluoride fine okay now let's get into synthesis of aryl halide aryl halide synthesis in case of aryl halide let's start it with Toluene. Aromatic ring CS3 is toluene. Now, in these types of reaction, what we require is Lewis acid. I already have explained in my earlier video what is Lewis acid. All right. So, Lewis acid, Fe, we take it as Lewis acid. Bromine gas is reacted with this in dark. So, what we end up is with aryl halide, in this case, bromide, in this case, so this is orthobromotoluene. And this is para bromo toluene plus 2 HBr liberated. All right, it's a side product. So H from here, Br2, 1 Br goes here, there is electrophilic reaction. So 1 Br goes here. So 1 Br does electrophilic reaction over here. And the another Br and the other Br which is there, that reacts with that H to form HBr. Similarly here also, Br plus does electrophilic reaction over here and the other Br minus which is there that combines with H which has been replaced to form HBr. So from here one H, from here one H and out of Br2, one Br, another Br forms two HBr as byproduct. All right, so we are interested in our product. Product that we end up with is orthobromotoluene and para bromo toluene. All right, so in these reactions, we require Lewis acid. Lewis acid is all those which are running short of electron. All right, so Lewis acid, it could be Fe that we have used just now in dark, aluminum chloride, anhydrous, or FeCl3, etc. So we have learned Friedel-Crafts reaction, right? So this is sort of Friedel-Crafts reaction. All right, now let's understand reaction of toluene with iodine. When iodine reacts with toluene, we end up with under identical conditions. We end up with under identical conditions. We end up with ortho para iodo toluene. All right. But along with it, we also get byproduct HI as we get it over here. Now, property of this is to reverse. It reacts with this in a reversible fashion and gives back toluene. So reverses HI reverses the reaction. Therefore, we have to kill HI. So for killing HI, we use oxidizing agents like nitric acid, iodic acid to convert HI to water and iodine. So iodine is generated. So the reaction keeps on proceeding in forward direction. So HI, that's, that's, that's the problem with iodine. HI reverses the reaction. So we have got to take care of oxidizing HI to form iodine and water, water harmless. Iodine again comes back here and carries the reaction in forward direction. Fluorine being highly reactive are not prepared by this method. 
好嘞。